Hey guys, Fumasa Chu here. I wanted to do a quick little uh, after actions review. Uh, basically, I've been doing a little experiment with this Smith & Wesson M&P 1522. I got this for my boy at Christmas. And uh, so far we've put, I'm thinking close to 1,500 rounds. And... Uh, haven't had any problems with the rifle and uh, haven't even cleaned it yet been seeing uh, want to see how well it was made how it would function dirty and uh, it's pretty nasty um, I've basically used two types of ammo in it uh, for the most part about 75 percent of them have been the federal bulk ammo that would you know you can get at Walmart, and I have put eh, probably another three four hundred rounds of uh, CCI mini mags through it. Uh, so far, it's worked flawlessly. Uh, no problems with the rifle. I have had one magazine. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is. I bought a used one at a gun show, and I think it's this one. But the problem we're having with it is when you load it all the way, the last two rounds, or I guess the first two rounds that it picks up, they get uh, canted like this instead of being flat on top. And uh, it kind of causes, you know, basically it won't catch them. It just, uh, the follower goes right over top of it, doesn't catch it. So other than that, all the new mags that I got for it uh, well I got one with it of course and I bought two extras and uh, they've worked flawlessly and the rifles always fired so uh, maybe a little little bit of advice there <laughs> go with the new mags instead of trying to save a few bucks uh, these were like 20 bucks each and the reason I grabbed this when I was at the gun show actually looking for ammo and I just saw a whole box of these, and they were like, uh, I think 10 bucks or something like that. So I was like, wow, half price, but you know, you get what you pay for. I will say, if you don't fill this all the way, instead of putting the 25 rounds, um, I took the top two out, and then it works fine. And it's just something about, I don't know what it is, maybe these were like factory seconds or something. But uh, it works fine then. So, anyway... I want to give a quick little update on that. Um, I'm not going to go anymore. Uh, that's the end of my experiment. I figure 1500 plus is good enough. And I'm going to tear it down right now and uh, give it a good cleaning. So uh, just wanted to throw that out there let you all know if you're in the market for a decent 22 AR. Um, so far this is the best one I've had. I've only had two. I've had a 10... Ruger 1022 also, of course that one worked, you know, pretty, pretty awesome. I had a few malfunctions with it, but I think those were magazine issues as well. Um, but this works really good. It works better than the uh, Sig 522 I had, which is why I got rid of that. So uh, if you guys are looking for an awesome 22 caliber AR. Uh, this is the best one I've found yet. So, Smith & Wesson MP1522. I give it a double thumbs up. So, y'all have a great weekend. And Fu Master Chu, signing out.